Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. In the previous mission, I was able to deal with some pirates, and that yielded me a new ship, the Shivan Ibadi. Uh, not really an act or an apt name for a US warship, so this is now the USS Quinn, in honor of my son. We start off the Essex, the Enterprise, the Siren, the Quinn, and the Nautilus, and we're going to take these guys into the battles. We have uh, a Ransom, that was the mission that we completed. Uh, this is just some random news, I suppose. And next stage. Okay. Robert Smith, Secretary of the Navy. After the last outrageous attack of the pirates on your ships, the Congress decided to change our policy against all Barbary states. You can consider that we are in a state of war with those pirates. You've been authorized to proceed uh, in any appropriate measure you think necessary to protect the interest of the United States. We've contacted an agreement with Ferdinand IV of the Kingdom of Naples to use the ports of Messina, Syracuse, as naval bases to launch operations against the pirates. Soon, the first heavy frigate is expected to sail and join your fleet under your command. Nice, I get a new ship. Uh, Washington Gazette. I guess they also heard the news and are spreading it. War with the Barbary States. The Congress decided to stop the humiliating status of paying tribute to the pirates of Northern Africa. The war is inevitable, along with the restart of the pirate attacks on your ships. Can the John Paul Jones, or sorry, yeah, can the John Paul Jones stop the abusing of the American pride with so limited means available? Um, I am, I am John Paul Jones, so I should think it should say can John Paul Jones, not can the. We have two side missions: Swedish captives. A Swedish ship is preparing to sail from Cadiz, heading to Moroccan coast for negotiations with a local warlord. The warlord volunteered to help the Swedish envoys negotiations with local pirates for the release of Swedish captives. It's a common secret that the warlord is actually the leader of the pirates. The envoys offer a good reward for an escort of a warship and their protection. Um, how much of a reward they're offering, I do not know. Alternatively, Naughty Alice... And of course, if your fleet's big enough, you can do both. The merchant Alice has lost contact with her convoy after a pirate attack. She was last seen drifted and probably damaged in the straits. Dispatch a rescue force to spot and help Alice before she meets pirates or a fatal reef. Um, something I need to show you, by the way. Over here, I have my uh, battle road, my career points. And I can spend these career points as I see fit. I have currently spent all of them on prices, so that the better or that the, the sale and purchase prices at the Admiralty is better. Hopefully, I can get some better ships there. I spent a bit on shipbuilding, damage control, to make sure that the ships repair themselves more, and thus I will not be spending as much on repairs. The same for the crew; they're going to heal faster, so I get fewer casualties. And over here, I spent quite a bit on luck, and this is going to work with the side missions. Currently, I have a plus 20% success chance. And this means that I'm actually able to send one or more ships on side missions while I take on the real mission. Pillars of Hercules. Let's see. Can I send in some ships here? 54% um, success chance on Nautilus. Let's send in both of these ships. And that way I have the Sire and the Enterprise and the Essex to deal with the main mission. So you guys are going to do that. And we're going to go on the Pillars of Hercules. Our government has finally decided to confront the Barbary states. It will take some time, however, to restore a basic force for our navy. The program for constructing new frigates, included in the Naval Act of 1794, has produced the first ships, and soon they will enter into service. Meanwhile, we need to deal with the current situation with what we have right here, right now. Portugal used to patrol the exit of the Gibraltar Straits to the Atlantic, blockading the Algerian ships from entering the ocean thus providing a temporary protection for American merchant ships. Due to other priorities, the Portuguese navy has withdrawn its ships and the pirates can freely enter the Atlantic. Proceed to the area and re-establish the blockade. Um, I can follow the orders, or I can pick no peril, no glory. I'm not sure what that does. Let's just follow the orders and let's play. Okay, the situation. Uh, I need to re-establish the blockade. I can deploy 
ships here and there. I don't even know what direction the wind is coming in from. Let's have the Enterprise over there. And then put the Siren over there. Captain, we're in a position. We're not the only one. A pirate sail has already been spotted exiting the straits. It must be intercepted with no delay. Understood. We will do that. So I got my ship here, and I have the siren coming in later. The wind is uh, southerly. So if I turn to starboard, I should be able to engage this guy. Post haste. Do I want to capture it, though? Because the Essex has a lot of crew members on board and might be capable of doing just that. If I can capture that ship, I can either sell it off or uh, I can use it for myself. And considering that there are plenty of side missions around, or at least it seems that way, I might be able to use it in such a role. If I turn to starboard a bit more, I should be able to open fire. Let's just sink... Well, do we sink the guy or not? Here we go. It does look really pretty. The Essex and the Enterprise forming up. It seems, though, that for the amount of crew that I have on this ship, 368, a lot of them are not shown on the ship. So either a lot of them are below decks, um, or we're just missing out on a whole bunch of crew. But then again, I suppose that it would be a very uh, CPU, GPU intense process if you want to render all of the crew members. Some good damage here on the Kaplan Ibari. I'm going to slow down a touch, reduce my rigging, to keep my ship in this position. Because if I understand it correctly, um, they're being pushed to port. So the ship is listing to port slightly. Meaning that these guns on the port side are actually depressed. They cannot fire. And that's something that I didn't understand last time around. This time around, thanks to some comments, I understand what is happening. And it means that I can engage this guy without him being able to return fire, because I have a favorable position. They simply cannot hit me. At least, I understand. Uh, I hope so, mostly. Alright, Essex. Let's have you do some damage. Enterprise? Oh, the Enterprise is out of range! Okay. Well, I don't mind having the Essex just do some damage here. Looks like the structural integrity on this ship is going down. Uh, set the aiming area over there. Ah, the Enterprise is capable of joining the fight. That pirate ship is having a terrible day and there's nothing they can do. All they can try and do is just run away. But their structural integrity has already taken a hit of at least 10 to 20%. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. Now I'm sailing against the wind. That's not ideal. I suppose my objective is to finish them all off. Does it say anywhere? Another pirate ship is here. Yeah, cool. Uh, what do I need to do about that? Yeah, we're going to attack. I'm going to turn the ship around. So we're currently reversing... And I'm hoping that I can pull the same stunt again versus this pirate ship. Full sails. Enterprise is also using more sail, trying to keep up with the Essex. Come on, buddy. Too far away for now. We'll have to keep pushing in. For some reason or another, one of these pirate ships has decided to come right towards the Essex. Which is interesting, but maybe not in their best benefit. 
Uh, look at this guy just rush in. What do we have here? The Mansurier. I'm going to try and knock off their sails, thereby impeding their mobility. And, um, well, they're going to have to turn port or starboard if they want to be able to fire any of those guns. So let them come. Let them come in. You may fire when ready, Essex. We're going to chain shot, and we're going to send those sails right off. Yeah, some damage to their sails, but not that much. Just look at the beauty of this game. It looks really good. Now, I think I've already failed at the uh, re-establish the blockade thing, because we still have one pirate ship out there that I probably will not be able to catch. Unless I pull some sort of stunt, but I wouldn't know how. Mansurie is starting to lose her sails. And that, too, is very beautifully rendered. You can see holes in their sails. What are you doing? Oh, crap. <laughs> Keep it up. Here comes the broadside. Enterprise, prepare the broadside. Do not hit the sails, hit the ship. <laughs> and that's just the Essex, which is not even a high-end ship. It's a fifth rate... Um, they're carrying relatively small guns, I suppose. Enterprise, we're going to turn around. Unfortunately, the Enterprise doesn't really have a lot of crew. Uh, and they're getting killed off as well. So I probably won't be able to capture them. I'm going to split my ships off. I'm going to have the Enterprise deal with this guy over here. And I want to have the Essex try and race up to the other pirate ship and see if we can catch that. Because we need to do some work here against the pirates. Otherwise, we're going to risk having these guys run away. Just run the blockade. Enterprise, that's a bit too fast. I'm going to try and maintain position next to the Mansurier. Currently with 117 versus 126, I'm not particularly eager to board yet. Maybe later. Oh crap, I failed the mission, didn't I? No, I did not. Captain, pirate sails have sighted coming from the ocean. They seem to return from a profitable raid, having captured two American merchants and a French frigate. Oh boy. We must recapture our ships and destroy the pirates. I hope our ships that were sent for supplies will arrive soon. We really need them. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's a lot of work for the Enterprise and the Essex. Uh, skip the whole capturing thing. We're just going to try and sail or sink slash... Uh, well, let's say neutralize the Mansurier as quickly as we can. And hopefully... We'll be able to send them running. Need more sails. Their starboard armor is failing. And because they're turning the way that they are, they cannot fire anymore. I do need to slow down. Ah, condition of my crew is not that good. I'm taxing these guys quite a lot. Essex status. Okay, so we have that one pirate ship that we already, well, decimated coming in. And a whole bunch more. One, two, three, four. The El Dragon, the Dauphin, and the Maria. Okay. Um, this would make a very nice ship to capture. Unfortunately, she has 280 crew members. So if I want to catch, or if I want to catch, if I want to capture that, I'm going to probably need to reduce the crew on that pretty substantially. Enterprise, how's your fight going? Not terrible. Mansuria is turning around. I'm really hoping that I can sink this thing. 
Because I don't need this thing distracting the Enterprise. I need the Enterprise on the front line. There we go. The Mansuria is starting to surrender. Our ships are approaching. The Siren is here. Excellent. The Siren can intercept those ships over there. She has a very favorable wind. So we're going to make good speed there. Enterprise, your engagement's currently the most pressing. Unfortunately, wind is not ideal for what I'm trying to do here. By the way, I haven't installed any upgrades on these ships yet. I first want to see what the next stage of the campaign brings. Because if the campaign brings me better ships, then maybe I should spend my upgrades, my, my funds on those ships. How's the Mansuria doing? Ooh, not great. She's wavering. Essex? Are you in range yet? You are. Finish the guy. Before the rest of the boys show up. Which they will, soon. I need to buy myself some time here. Siren, this way. Those four pirate raiders are coming in really fast. Surya still hasn't surrendered. I really like these small one-on-one -on -one engagements, by the way. I think it looks awesome. And it's also the sense that these, these ships of mine are all fighting some sort of individual battle. Of course, a, a ship of the line, or rather a line of ships, would be more, be more, well, more beneficial for me. But at the moment, I don't have the luxury to do that just yet. Essex? Work it. The Enterprise is... Yeah, I think the Mansuria is starting to flood. Judging by the icon there, I think she's starting to sink. Enterprise. Turn. Just come about. Essex. Turn to starboard. We have a few pirate ships coming in here. Good damage. Unfortunately, now you're not in a terribly good spot because you're going to get shot at by four different ships here. The Kaplani body is also wavering. I need it out of the way. Siren, status. Siren's coming in. Finish her off. Now, I'm hoping that the Essex can hold its own against some of these pirate ships here. I think she can. But I might need to start slowing them down a bit. Because these guys are far faster than my ship. So, we're going to knock off some of these sails. Or at least I thought we would, but I think the angle is not great. Switch to round shot. Mansuria is still flooding. Siren, can you help out? Actually, yes, full ahead flank. Well, <laughs> full sails is what I should be saying. Target the Kaplan. I don't know how much time I have. I think I just need to eliminate them, but maybe they have a sort of safe sector. No, they don't. Okay, so I should have enough time to do this. Mansourier has sunk. Well done, that. Uh, now, as somebody said, if you want to be particularly pragmatic, you can just wipe out the rest of the crew. Uh, it's not particularly nice to fire at them with grape shot, but it probably will work to very, very quickly eliminate any survivors. Uh, it is definitely not in line with having to save survivors, but I am not particularly... Wow, that was absolutely worthless. Yeah, they have abandoned ship. Alright. Enterprise, if you can, come here. Full sails. Yeah, we're hitting some of the guys. Some of the survivors from the sinking ship there. Siren? 
We still need to sink four of these. It's going to prove challenging. I think that these boys need to row a hell of a lot faster if they want to catch up with one of their own ships. If they can at all. I think I need to turn the Enterprise that way. Even though she's already been damaged, she needs to really hold her own against these guys. And we still have that big ship coming in, the Dragon. Hmm... From my position here, I'm not sure if I want to engage the dragon. She's a square-rigged ship, so I might be able to knock off sails if I sail right in front of her. What are all of you guys coming to do here? Huh. Slow. Enterprise. Trying to keep up. I hope that these pirate ships are going to turn around, because I definitely cannot catch them. Siren? We've done some damage to the dragon. Speed up, buddy. <clears throat> Come on. I need to buy myself some time. That's why I'm trying to shoot their sails off. Now, Siren, it's time to run. And ideally, take out some of the survivors. These. Because this ship is going to receive a ton more crew now. Just shy of a hundred guys are going to join that crew. Which is not great. Also not great. The neighbors have decided to start sanding their walls in lieu of painting them. So I hope that doesn't make it into the video. Now I'm taking on a ship that has far more firepower than I do. Some structural damage to the starboard side of the ship. Oh, they cannot keep up! In that case, I don't want to fire a uh, chain shot. I want to make sure that they cannot keep up. So I need to have the dragon at better speed, ironically. It looks like the pirate ships are... Shit, they're about to leave. I suppose that that does not classify as uh, eliminating. Problematic. Problematic. I'm not sure how I should have sunk all of these guys in such a short time span, though. Maybe I'm missing something. If I turn to starboard and just slow, I should be able to be in a position for a longer time from where I can fire at them. Siren? Siren's now coming under attack from the dragon. The dragon has stopped! She has lowered her sails, and thereby she's now picking up all of the survivors. Oh dear. That means that we're going to see a ton more crew on the dragon. 403. Capturing that is now most definitely impossible. One of them has escaped. Slash retreated. Oh, the Tunis is coming back. Interesting. At this rate, I'm just going to level the dragon. Uh-oh. Looks like she's preparing to fire. Oh, dear. That's going to come at a hefty repair cost to the siren. Make sure that this thing dies quickly, buddy. Or it's going to be you who sinks. This is what I need the Essex for. And I can now see what the challenge is between trying to send your ships off on side missions 
and having them actually be part of your main fleet, which is what you might need them for. It is very kind, by the way, of these pirates to actually come back and try to fight me again. Because otherwise I would not be able to catch them. Some damage to the Tunis. I'm going to eliminate the Tunis. And after she's gone, I'm going to try and capture the Haraket. So I can sell that ship off. So we're going to do boarding operations. Serious damage to the Tunis, and she's wavering. Siren is disengaging. And I still have to do a lot more work, because I still have to capture or recapture those two ships, the Maria and the Dauphin. Eliminate. Yeah, I think she's pretty much done for. The problem, however... Yeah, I didn't quite think that one through. If I destroy the Tunis and the survivors sail to one of the other ships in their lifeboats, if they row over, then they might, might, very, there we go, might prove themselves pretty difficult to capture. Oh, grape shot's not in range. Chain shot. Enterprise. Oh, the Enterprise is going to get busy here. Because we still have the dragon coming in. I think we need to use the Essex against the dragon. Yeah, the survivors went to the Selimie. Crap. Okay. Come about. Grape shot, port side. They're going to leave. That's 10 of their crew members dead. There's a sinking ship. Where is it? Yeah, oh great. The dragon is picking up even more survivors. Lovely. Switch to standard shot. We still have to sink more of these. Uh, and potentially more importantly, I need to catch these before they leave. Enterprise. This is not good. They're going to attack the Enterprise from the stern. Come on, full sails. Try not to rush into that ship. Chain shot. Shallow ahead. Oh, that's not good. We're about to crash into the coast. Essex, I'm going to need you and the Siren to each board one of these ships. We need to reclaim them. And quickly, too. I'm still trying to knock off mobility from the Dragon, but so far, not really successfully. Grape shot only. Engage the target. I'm not trying to wound them too much. I just want their crew eliminated. Wow, that was a whole three guys dieting. <laughs> Could have been better. Siren, that one's yours. They're wavering. Not surprising, considering half the pirate crew on that ship died. Still doing some damage to the dragon. Oh, come on, turn. S oh, sorry, Siren, not Essex. Turn. Essex. Come about. Need to catch these, not kill them. Shit. I thought these guys were going to leave, but they keep more or less zigzagging into the battle. This is probably going to be a rough fight for some of my ships, which, at this rate, might not even survive. Board.
I'm sailing against the wind. Which, of course, does not work. If I can grape shot uh, Le Dragon, that would be great. Because they have plenty of crew, but I think the Siren's first going to take a full broadside shot from the dragon itself. Come on. Limit the angle. Essex. Hit the dragon. Enterprise, come back here. I need you to be at the right angle. Steady as she goes. Boarding. Um, minimum crew. You. Off you go. Siren, get back here. Considering the structural damage to the Dragon, I might be able to just sink her. Capturing would be great, but she has so much crew aboard that I don't think it's happening. Um, cut the cables. Oh, this is going to be turned into one big mess here. Uh, halt your fire. Port and starboard. New plan. Prepare to board starboard contacts. Jeez, look at this. <laughs> what a mess this is. Uh, we need to... Well, we need to wait for the boarding for a second. Get ready, siren. Board contact starboard. Slow, 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 slow. Let him keep up. There's two guys manning that whole ship. Enterprise is holding fire as instructed. Turn around. Come about. Make sure you don't run into the shallows. Dragon is seriously wounded. Whereas the Essex doesn't really seem to give too much... Well, she doesn't seem to be too concerned about this. What is that? Rudder damage, I think. On the Dragon. It is... Sad to have to sink Le Dragon. But so be it. Oh, Maria has surrendered. That's great, but we still need to board her. Because she is an objective. Oh, crap, they're hitting the Dauphin. That's the ship that I captured. Cut that out. Let's see, that's her starboard armor, which is almost gone. Uh, yeah, I still need to have a better angle. Dauphin is just slowly reversing. Come about if you can. Yeah, she's taking more damage to her starboard side. Just look at this guy. All sorts of holes. Right there. The Essex seems perfectly capable of dealing with the damage and not sinking. Can I grape shot? Because their morale is pretty much broken at this point. Which does present an opportunity. Because if their morale is broken, I might be able to capture them with fewer sailors of my own. The Dauphin cannot board. Uh, I need you to do it. Because she has surrendered, but I haven't captured her yet. Oh, she's f sinking. Feel free to fire port side. Starboard side of the Essex is also going to need some repairs. 378. It's a good reduction from the amount of uh, crew members she had. Although she started with a whole lot less than that. Enterprise, this is going to be your capture. Because Siren is just slightly too far ahead. So I need you to do the impossible. Oh, they leave? Ship is sinking. 
So they're all going to join the Harakat. Right. Target that. Look at these guys. The Harakat has suddenly become a really popular destination for the surviving crew. <laughs> and now they haven't. Oh shit. That means that they're all gonna make their way to the Maria. No. I really don't want you to do that. No, 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 no. I'll just put the siren between the Maria and the survivors. Because I'm not having all of these guys disrupt my boarding operation. That shit is not happening. Siren, we're going to turn towards the wind, into the wind. Quickly now. Angle's good. Speed's good. I'm oh, sorry, distance is good. I need to get the angle right. Quick! <sighs> Capture it. Yep, get on there. Now they probably cannot board them. Yep, now they're all leaving. Oh, that was just in the nick of time. So we just need to take out the last ship here. They had a cat which is already flooding. Oh crap, Essex is going to disengage unless I bring her back into the fight. Come on. I've completed two of my objectives. I need to eliminate the enemy fleet, which is the last ship here. 35 seconds until the Essex disengages. I can't have her do that. Three seconds. Essex disengaged. Shit. I pushed her too far out of the battle. Or is she going to come back in? How does that work? Are you going to come back in? Can I take control? You can finish the mission or continue your fight. I've completed everything. The Essex is back. Very good. Um, I think we're done here. We have completed the capture. We have neutralized all the uh, the ships that we had to neutralize. I think bar one, maybe one of them survived. But I'm going to call this a win. Fleet strength. I sent in three ships. They had nine. They lost five. I lost none. I was able to capture two of their ships. Um, I lost 55 crew versus their 664. And that's probably because they abandoned ship and then couldn't find another ship to go to. Goals? Almost be fulfilled. Check. And, uh, yeah, that was a victory. So, the status of my fleet. Uh, the Essex is going to need repair, but unfortunately it's not terribly expensive. Uh, we have two captive ships. An enemy can contact you and offer an exchange. Really? Let's repair all of my ships. Oh, the Quinn is still in battle, as well with the, uh, the Nautilus. And I have two trophy ships. Uh, the Dauphin and the Maria. I'm going to send them to the Admiralty, Admiralty. And I don't feel like I need them myself. So off you go. All right, now I have 66,000. Naughty Alice turns left, one. So we still need to make sure that that happens. And I suppose that, considering we took out this mission... Can we still do this, then? Maybe. Yeah, I guess. So, next stage. Report. Uh, Swedish captives. The escort you offered, you've offered to the Swedish envoys has really paid off. 15,000 money, 4 reputation, 1 career point. Light damage to the Essex, no damage to the Enterprise. Very good. The other one, um, Naughty Alice. Congratulations on recovering Alice. A success like this raises the morale of the crew of our trade ships, who constantly face so many dangers on these waters. 5,000 money, 2 reputation, 1 career. Heavy damage to the Quinn. That's not good. We need to fix that thing real quick. What else? Robert Smith. 
The heavy frigates USS United States and the USS Chesapeake have arrived and joined your fleet. Really? Ooh. <laughs> Fourth rate, United States class frigate. Um, these guys carry 24 pounders. The Essex, by contrast, carries 12 pounders. These things have a damage output of... something. 10. These things have a damage output of 14. I like them. Now, I can install an upgrade here. That's going to make them more accurate. Experimental sites. This way, those 24 pounders are going to be absolutely lethal. So we're going to install that there and on the Chesapeake. And this way, I hope to get the most out of those ships. Um, the Quinn needs repairs. Yes. The Nautilus needs repairs. Yes. We also need to send more crew to these guys. Because they took a few losses here and there. Overload. Oh. We're pretty much maxed out on the Siren. The Enterprise could use a few more crew members. And I can have... Oh, can I, I can pick an upgrade. Oh, that's nice. Uh, more stamina, sure. And tier 2. Better boarding. I don't think I'm going to do that with the Enterprise. Because she only has 132 crew. But I can up that to 200. Her speed is 8.3. No, I don't want to have her do that. I'm going to keep it around optimal where it is right now. So it's not going to be the boarding, which means it's going to be either the gunners or rigging. We're just going to make this thing a gunship. Then the siren. Same deal. Um, stamina. And the tier 2 is going to be gunners. The Quinn. The Quinn doesn't I think have the required amount of experience yet. So I cannot train her crew better. But I I should be able to for the Essex. Considering what she's been through. Uh, let's go for more morale. I cannot have this thing panic ever. And well, she does do boarding every now and then. So let's go for plus 10 gunnery and plus 10 boarding. And also install an upgrade that's going to help me with boarding. Which is the boarding equipment 1. Boarding damage plus 5. Upgrade. And then we have the Chesapeake. Uh, more morale. More morale. That's the only upgrade I can pick. Okay. Now what else can I do? Uh, these guys don't turn particularly well. That's the rudder turn speed. Here, optimized rig. Turn speed, turn speed plus 10%. It's going to make it slightly better, but it does weigh a lot. 48 tons? 48 weight? I don't know. Um, alternatively, if I go for weaponry, I can just get even more damage. Yeah, we're going to have these guys be pure damaging ships. Pure gunboats, if you will. Weaponry, damage plus 10. There. We're almost maxed out on weight now. So they're not going to be particularly quick, but they will do a lot of damage. And then Essex, you already have an upgrade. Uh, let's see what the Admiralty has for sale. Um, this, is, this is my fleet. This is their fleet. So I can get the Anthony, which is a fifth-rate Unity-class frigate. Is that any good? going to cost me 19,700. Why the hell would I want an unrated merchant ship? Maybe it's going to come in useful for doing missions. Maybe that's the uh, the benefit to that. Holy shit, 920 crew. These could be troop transports. Maybe that's it. Maybe I can use them as a troop transport and ensure that the troops get dropped off either capturing another ship or in a way that they can capture terrain. Like do a naval landing. But I don't know enough about that yet, so I'm not going to pick it. Weaponry? 
Um, yeah, I don't really know enough about this yet. But can I upgrade the guns on these even more? Can they have bigger than 24 pounds? No. 24 pounders is the max. But I might be able to research some more. And intermediate advanced. We're on the verge of accomplishing the impossible and actually beating the British. Unfortunately, for our Spanish friends, things haven't gone so well. Their resources are exhausted and they are no longer able to fight the British who seem to crush them at every turn. Their representatives feel that their only hope of striking a blow against the British is to help us and they're now giving us access to the best equipment of the entire Spanish main. The Spanish M1757. So that's going to give me access to Spanish weapons. This is going to give me access to Prussian muskets. So that's probably better for boarding. It's going to come at 10 of my reputation rank. Hmm. It would make boarding better. And here are the British weapons. Advanced gun carriages. No. Let's see what the Spanish have to offer. So I could now get the Spanish weapons then, right? I just don't know how. All right, well, I will look into that off screen. For now, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm really starting to warm up to this game, and I hope you are too, because you're going to be seeing a lot more of it on the channel coming up the next episode in a few days. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon for the next one.